The World of Art by Paul Creamy. I've been working on these condos, different sizes of them, different feelings. I started out with just all black and I felt like it needed something more so I started putting in the windows and the doors and all of the stuff that goes into a condo. Hopefully it feels like a condo when you look at it. I'm very excited about them. I think they have a lot of energy and a lot of dynamic. I love working with wood. I, there's something about wood that I really get a good feeling out of. It's like painting for me. I pick up on the painting the way I pick up on this wood. And it's not easy because it took me a while to get into the mindset of how this works. And the people that I know that give me this particular wood, it isn't wood, it's plastic. But it's black and it's beautiful and it's white and it's beautiful. And so I like both of them. They both have a dynamic feeling. So I don't know how many I'm going to do, but I've done maybe 15 or 20. And they're very exciting. So I'll show you how I do them. I'm going to do a smaller one of like maybe that size today. I'm going to sit down with my glue gun and here's all the subject matter. Piece by piece, I'm going to put it together. It's shocking to know that you can take something like this piece by piece and make it work. And it took me a few years to get the courage to start doing these. But I've done some of the other ones in years ago. They're sitting over there. They're different kinds. But this, this stuff, this particular uh, subject matter and quality of the wax and everything in it. It's great. So I'm going to sit down here and I'm going to start piece one, piece two, and get it going. And once I get it going, you'll see it come to life. It'll be fantastic. <laughs> All right. So I take up my gun. This is my glue gun. And I sit here and I figure out which side I want to start with. Maybe there. Yeah. And I put the glue on once I get it to work. And this glue is extremely hot. Oh, you can't imagine what hot is until you get burnt by it. And so I'm very careful of how I use it. Well, that's glue first one. So that's the beginning. And then I go down and I find a piece for the base. I got it all over the place here. Yeah, that's perfect for the base. I got to put the glue gun down when I'm working on it because it, if I leave it up like this, it gets all over the place. Good. That looks really good. All it takes is a, a second or two, and then it's so hot. It's unbelievably hot. It doesn't want to stand up until it gets comfortable.
So each piece has its own feeling and its own like and its own shape. And so when you're doing something like this, you just keep very sure of yourself and just try to stay away from the glue as much as possible. What I like about all of this, this is, like I said, this is glue and it's unbelievable. So when I'm putting these pieces on, I'm using my own imagination of how I want this to come out and how it's going to look. And so some of them have a, a certain look and a certain feeling. So you gotta put them in where you want them to be and how you want them. And then all of a sudden, it'll start to come to work. And you try to stay away from the glue, because it is extremely hot. And I have a pot of water right here. And I keep getting burned. Yesterday, I got some in my hand, and it was like, oh my gosh. I don't know how hot these things get, but they get really hot. So you gotta be awful careful. I once went to um, Boston to see the uh, condos that this uh, architect did and it took my breath away, and I said, boy, wow, that's fabulous. He's very famous. In fact, my son worked in California in a gym, and he was one of his clients. And the guy's really famous for what he does. And I said, someday I'm gonna do a bunch of these condos and see what happens with them. And <laughs> starting to do that. Because when I did the sculptures before, I wasn't really thinking them, uh, thinking of them as condos. I thought they were just going to be sculptures. But as I got a little older and a little more excited about what I'm doing, now see how it's starting to take its shape. I'm going to keep adding these pieces as I go and it's going to get more and more exciting. I'm building up the bottom. I'm trying to find the right pieces. I like the idea that you can put a piece in and it does something for the other piece. And each piece you put in makes it more dynamic. trying to get a piece of glue out of the way, but sometimes it gets in the way when I'm trying to do this. Uh, we're getting there. I like to put the shapes dynamically in place so that it makes it more exciting. So I take my time and I, I look at the piece, put the glue on, glue on and then move on along.
Good. So it becomes stronger and stronger when you put more and more of this together. I bought this glue gun, I don't know, maybe 45 years ago, and it's been the best friend I've ever had. Oh my God, I've done so much with it. Blue gun is behaving funny. Sometimes you have to hold it for a few minutes because it could come off like it just did.
better. Every piece you put on this now makes it stronger. It takes about a minute for it to really settle down. If you push it too early, it falls off. You gotta be patient, you can't be trying to hurry it. Nice. And when I have a piece like that and a piece like this, I like to see it go similar to something like that. I don't know. Take a look. Well, we'll stay with the smaller pieces until we get to the bigger ones. So, I mean, this whole process is what you see with your own brain. It's nothing that you um, think it's going to work and then all of a sudden it works and it feels good. See if I can put a bridge in here. Smaller. Ah, perfect. Maybe perfect. No. Oh, I really like that. And you know something, I'm going to tell you the truth about doing this. I have no idea of how it's going to come out. That's what I love about this. It's going to be what it is. And that's the part of the art part that I love. I usually wash this down the day before, but I, I was wor working yesterday so much with this, I never got around to doing it. But. Oh, good.
sorry you can't see what I'm doing, but I'll see if I can flip it around a little and show you. It's starting to take its shape. I've used the big pieces, now I'm going to use some of the smaller pieces, and then it'll start to come together a little better. But this is what it's starting to look like. And this one might not be a condo like the rest of the condos. It may be just a sculpture, which sometimes I like better than the condos, figuring out how they're going to hold up and what they look like. this gun doing this. I don't think the gun likes to show off. So what I'm doing is I'm building a bridge. Each piece makes this thing stronger and lasts a long time. Some of these particular pieces have been 30 years, moved so many times. Once I get going, it becomes so much better. Of course, I'm a little bit sloppy today. I apologize for that, but I usually do it all by myself. It usually comes out really nice. I know it's hard for you to see. Ah, the glue got me. When I first got this glue, I had more burn marks. Goodness gracious, you can't imagine. All right, let me show you the way this looks now. It's getting more and more serious. He's just going to keep putting these pieces together until it really starts to jump out at you. 
and I love the way it's starting to look. All right. That's even better. Okay. And it looks like I just troll these on, but <laughs> I've had so much fun doing it. I've really learned how to do it with all the burn marks. You can see the steam coming off this glue. Ooh. That's why I have this bucket of water put out the fire. So we got left, so let's get to work here. Oh boy, that's perfect. This one's going to be beautiful. Ah, I love it. Oh my God. Somehow, some way, in the depth of my mind, these things always seem to come out pretty good, if you're patient. See how hot that glue is, no matter, boom, it dries seconds. The World of Art by Paul Creamy. <laughs> Having a good time here.
let's get some glue in here. Very good. Sorry, I'm not talking. I just that I'm trying to be. careful that I don't get burnt. Okay, I've got one piece left, so let me take a look at this and show you the different sizes and the different looks. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to unplug the glue gun. Let it settle down. And I'll swing this around a bit so you can see it. And then if I decide that I want to do something more by putting in some of these other things, that just changes it. But I'm not going to do it now. I probably might do it later on, but I want to see what it looks like black and white, or black, straight black. So I'll swing it around a couple of times so you can see it. In fact, I may, I'll pick it up and show you. This is the dynamic of this thing. When you're standing up and you're looking at it, and it's on a table, it's white. <laughs> you don't have all this other stuff. I think it's really beautiful. I get back a little and take a look. And so I'll take some of these other subjects, other pieces of wood. There's just tons and tons of stuff. Where's that box? Here. Throughout the years, I've been around a lot of these different people who do cabinets and all kinds of stuff. And so they throw away all of this stuff. And I say, no, don't throw it away. Put it in the box until I have a box of stuff like this. And then I can take that stuff and put it on to this. And you can wind up with something like this or something like that. or or one of the other ones. It all depends on what. Totally black isn't as exciting as having it jump around a little inch by inch. Thank you. World of Art, Paul Creamy. God bless.